In this video, we will find which of the following sets have closure property with respect to addition and multiplication. First set is A is equal to 0 and minus 1 and second set is A is equal to 1 minus 1. Now coming towards the solution of first part, firstly we will check closure property. with respect to addition its definition is for all x y belong to set a x plus y must also belong to set a it means that whenever we add each element of set A one by one with each other element of set A, the answer must also be in set A. Then we can say that set A has closure property with respect to addition. Now we will construct a table to check closure property with respect to addition on set A. In this table, we have written each element of set A in first row and first column. And now we will add them one by one. Here we will add 0 with 0 and 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. Here we will add 0 and minus 1 and 0 plus minus 1 is equal to minus 1. Here we will add minus 1 and 0 minus 1 plus 0 is equal to minus 1 so here we will write minus 1 here we will add minus 1 with minus 1 and we know that minus 1 plus minus 1 is equal to minus 2 so here we will write minus 2 here we can clearly see that 0 and minus 1 belong to set A but minus 2 does not belong to set A. Which means that set A does not satisfy the definition of closure property with respect to addition. Which implies that closure property with respect to addition does not hold for set A which is equal to 0 and minus 1. Now we will check closure property with respect to multiplication. Its definition is for all x, y belong to set A x dot y that is product of x y must also belong to set a it means that whenever we multiply each element of set a one by one with each other element of set a its product must also be in set a then we can say that closure property with respect to multiplication holds for set A. Now we will construct a table to check closure property with respect to multiplication for set A. Here we have written all elements of set A on first row and first column of this table. Now we will multiply each element of set A one by one with each other element of set A. Firstly, we will multiply 0 with 0 and 0 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. So here we will write 0. Here we will multiply 0 with minus 1 and 0 multiplied by minus 1 is equal to 0. So here we will write 0. 
here we will multiply minus 1 by 0 and minus 1 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0 so here we will write 0 here we will multiply minus 1 with minus 1 and minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 is equal to 1 so here we will write 1 from these products it can be clearly seen that 1 does not belong to set A which means that set A does not satisfy the definition of closure property with respect to multiplication which implies that closure property with respect to multiplication does not hold for set A which is equal to 0 and minus 1. Now we will solve the second part in which set A is equal to 1 minus 1. Now coming towards its solution, firstly we will check closure property with respect to addition. Its definition is for all x, y belong to set A, x plus y must also belong to set A. It means that if we add each element of set A one by one with each other element of set A, the sum must also be in set A. Then we can say that closure property with respect to addition holds for set A. Now we will construct a table in which we will add each element of set A one by one with each other elements of set A. We have written all elements of set A in first row and first column of this table. Here we will add 1 with 1 and 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So here we will write 2. And here we will add 1 with minus 1 and 1 plus minus 1 is equal to 0. So here we will write 0. Here we will add minus 1 with 1 and minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. So here we will write 0. Here we will add minus 1 with minus 1 and minus 1 plus minus 1 is equal to minus 2. So here we will write minus 2. By observing all sums we can clearly see that 0, 2 and minus 2 does not belong to set A. Which means that set A does not satisfy the definition of closure property with respect to addition. Which implies that closure property with respect to addition does not hold. for set A which is equal to 1 and minus 1. Now we will check closure property with respect to multiplication. Its definition is for all x, y belong to set A, x dot y that is product of x, y must also belong to set A. 
इट मीन्स दैट इफ वी मल्टीप्लाई ईच एलिमेंट ऑफ सेट ए वन बाय वन विद ईच अदर एलिमेंट ऑफ सेट ए इट्स प्रोडक्ट मस्ट आल्सो बी इन सेट ए देन वी कैन से दैट सेट ए सेटिसफाइज क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू मल्टीप्लीकेशन नो वी विल कंस्ट्रक्ट ए टेबल इन विच वी विल मल्टीप्लाई ईच एलिमेंट ऑफ सेट ए वन बाय वन विद ईच अदर एलिमेंट्स ऑफ सेट ए Here we have written all elements of set A in first row and first column of the table. And here we will multiply one with one, and one multiplied by one is equal to one. So here we will write one. Here we will multiply one with minus one, and one multiplied by minus one is equal to minus one. So here we will write minus one. Here we will multiply minus one by one, which is equal to minus one. So we will write minus one. Here we will multiply minus one with minus one, and minus one multiplied by minus one is equal to one. So here we will write one. From here we can clearly see that all the products belong to set A. so we can say that set a satisfies the definition of closure property with respect to multiplication which implies that closure property with respect to multiplication holds for set a which is equal to 1 minus 